Hi, my name is Anne Brady, and I welcome you to a Mentoring Writers Resource Box podcast. Listen to learn more about the writing world. After all, the more you learn, the better writer you can become. I am sure, like me, you have heard there are supposedly some best selling authors who write, say, seven and a half thousand or more words per day. Now, if you are a new writer who is having some difficulty, your reaction might be, Really? So how do they do it? Another question could be, I've heard some authors can produce novel after novel, year after year, yet a lot of writers like myself struggle to finish their first draft. Actually, what you really want to know is, are these two statements a reality? Or are these writers not really achieving their goals, but just blowing smoke up our derrieres? It's a good point. So to help you realise that the two statements are possibly true, what you have to do is understand a few things these writers do not do. Firstly, success for these writers comes because they are not machines full of endless ideas. Secondly, Their ideas are no better or any more creative than yours might be. And finally, it's not because they might be better writers than most other writers. With this in mind, it could leave you saying, well, if that's the case, just how do they write so fast then? Well, that is one question I do find simple to answer. But first, let me explain why I feel confident in being able to say this. Over the last 40 years as an author, writer's mentor and a publisher, I have read and reviewed a large number of manuscripts across a wide variety of genres and styles. And if there is one thing I have learned, it is that, simply put, the most prolific writers had already plotted, planned or knew the whole story in their heads before they even sat down to write a single word. So what exactly do I mean by this? The answer is that before they started writing their book, they already knew the following. The concept of the story. This is the plot or the outline of events within the visual story as the writer could see it happening. The main characters. They will have a definition of what and who the characters within their story are going to be and how they are going to behave. The supporting characters, again, they had a definition of what and who the characters within their story were and who would be supporting the protagonist and or the antagonist. The story structure, this is the order in which they were going to present the narrative. It is the sequence and backbone of any book. The setting refers to the time, duration and place chosen to write about within the story. And there's more. Now obviously there is no definition of and there's more. However, this would cover all the other little oddities and the major or minor conflicts that may or may not appear somewhere within the story. These are generally ideas that may work but would not detract from the complete story if they were not included. The point I am trying to get across is that these writers were already prepared with most of the key elements of how their stories would progress. They had literally mapped it out before they sat and wrote a single word. This also means that when they did finally sit down to write a draft, it was just like filling in the blanks. And that makes it one of the main key reasons as to why they were so fast in producing a completed draft book. Of course, the question you are now asking is, before I start writing, what are the elements needed to create this map? Well, again, simply put, these are the main character, the one who leads the story, status quo, what the situation is at the start of the story, protagonist motivation, what your character wants to achieve, the initiating incident, what is it that disturbs the status quo? In other words, this is the conflict. 
developments, what happens next after the conflict, crisis, how things come to a head, and finally, the resolution, how everything is resolved as you finish the story. Now, once you have all these elements put together, you too will be able to write just as quickly as those authors you think are writing as good as those bestsellers. Mind you, of course, they probably have someone doing the cooking, the washing up and the cleaning and the mm, making the beds and all the other household chores and chasing the kids around and they've got a nice quiet nook at the bottom of the garden. Mm, I'm sorry, I'm daydreaming, aren't I? Yes, life does get in the way. Maybe they don't have that. Maybe that's why, simply put, they just have the freedom to write. But if you can plan your story before you write it, then you will find that you will write more than 500 words a day. Maybe you'll write up to 7,500 words. Maybe not every day, but if you do at least 7,500 words a week, just imagine how soon you will have a novel written. Try it. See where you get. If you need help with any aspect of your writing, or are interested in the other services we offer, or would like to chat with a mentor, then please check out our website. Or you can email us, contact at mentoringwriters.co.uk, and we will endeavour to assist you through your writing journey. Happy plotting, planning, and maybe faster writing. This was Anne Brady bringing you a Mentoring Writers Resource Box podcast. Thank you for listening and we hope you will join us again.